Hi and welcome to this second Axe 4 preview video. I'm Duncan Brigginshaw, one of the directors of Odin, and in this video we'll be looking at some of the new features of the Axe ITE, specifically for creating and editing tests in Axe. Already in this latest build you'll notice the uh, a slight change, the new project icons have appeared on the start page, so let's um, open one of those projects now. First off let's close the start page down and create a new blank workbook. In the new workbook, let's create a new subtest sheet. We can do that from the new asset menu item, selecting subtest table and header only. We then give our worksheet a name, so let's call this home. We can now add objects directly from the object explorer. So let's open that up, pin it to the side, and take a look for our home page item. There's our home page object. So we'll select that and a couple of the menu items within there as well. And we can drag the whole lot across into the appropriate place on the subtest worksheet. We can also drag in objects individually, so let's uncheck all the objects and just select, say, the user details menu item and drop that into the appropriate place. And Axe will insert the object in the subtest header correctly. Next, let's take a look at some that we've created earlier. So we'll open up basic tests, unpin the object explorer, and we'll start to explore some of the cool new features for adding new rows within subtests. Let's switch to the register subtest and add a new row. So this time we'll register me as a user. So we'll call it using Duncan, provide a description, and we'll place our cursor on the first action, which in this case is for the register window. At this point we can switch on the Axe Assistant features. So we go and have a look in options. You can see here the Axe Designer Assistant. Um, if we check that, you notice at the bottom there that it says Designer Assistant is activated. There's also a shortcut for this. If you press Ctrl E, you can switch it on and off. Let's just switch back to the home view. And now we can click on one of the cells. And you'll notice straight away that we get a list of the actions available for that class of object. Let's click on the register window and we can select Set and then we'll set the title value and the data to Mr. We'll set, in this case, my name to Duncan Brigginshaw and you can see how easily there we can start to create, up, create our subtest layouts um, directly from the action selections. The information for the action set provided in the drop-down here is created dynamically. So you can see here we've got a category of custom and this will pick up any custom actions that have been created by the technician on that particular project. Let's very quickly create a custom action to demonstrate that feature. So we open up our action map for Selenium, C sharp, add in our action, let's call it my action, and my parameter, put in our code like command, whatever that might be, and some documentation. Documentation for my action. So we'll save our action map there and close that down, pop back to our basic test table and now when I open my drop down here you'll see in the custom category the action and documentation appearing uh, dynamically from our action maps. So let's finish off this particular subtest sub by popping a quit action in there and switch over to our test table. We just hit save at this stage we can take a look at some of the new features useful for designing test tables in the new Axe ITE. So let's create ourselves a test. We add a new test in here called My Test. Provide a brief description. And then you'll notice when we click on the base state column now, it provides us with a list of available base states. So let's select Restart Home. At this stage now, to build up the rest of our test process, we don't need to type anything else in. And this is one of the great new features of this product release. So we can essentially just select our subtest items directly from the dropdowns. So if we look at our basic tests, we can see in here that we've got a home page, and in there we'll go to select register. You notice that it fills in the proper path to that subtest and the ID for us. Let's add the one that we just created. So in our register, you see here using Duncan appears. We go to our next one along and we can do register success and pick out whether the page was displayed or save the password. You'll notice also that the description for that particular subtest appears as a tooltip when you hover over the entry for that subtest ID in the drop down selections there. So let's pick save password and save our test. 
At this stage, let's switch over to uh, a run table and take a look at um, the, the features and how they apply to run tables. So if we pick our run demo run table here, we can now select our table directly from the list of tables that we have available. So in here we've got the basic tests and you'll see here the test table appear. When we click on the start ID, you'll get listed here all of the different tests that are available within that test table. Select my test and you'll see here that it appears directly in the run table. If we want an end ID, we can also select it from there. So that's taken a look at some of the new assistant features that we've provided in this Axe 4 release. You'll also have noticed from the previous video that we've added um, some context menus to this as well. So if we switch to one of our other views, take a look at the context menus, you'll see here that we've got some Axe specific actions. For example, inserting data source column, building and select building selected tests, um, building the whole worksheet for example. So that concludes this preview video. Um, next time we'll be looking at some of the new ALM connectivity features of the new ITE.